Hey everyone, my name is Denise Davis and I'm going to be reporting today on the transgender pro process. My presentation is about transgender and um, the transition process. Um, before I start, I'm just going to um, let you guys, um, give you guys a definition of what transgender is. Um, tr what is transgender? Because that's the big name where we all have, what is transgender? So I'm going to define transgender to you guys. Um, transgender, there, there is an umbrella um, for transgender. Uh, transgender is used for, there is not one way to define transgender because there's a lot of different process in this trans transitional process. Um, transgender is an umbrella used for people whose gender identity or gender exposure difference from sex they were assigned why at, at birth. Um, there is no one there is no one way to transition. There are so many ways to transition. Um, the transgender process, people can undertake transition in many ways. Some do hormones, some do surgery, some do uh, um, some yeah some some do blend and all kinds of other uh, uh, procedures to go through the transgender process. Um, for instance, I have right here. Um, I have this couple. It's a young seventeen, and last year they were seventeen and eight and nineteen. This year, um, Aaron, he's he's um, as you can see right here, this is Aaron, and this is Kate. They are both transgender couple. Um, Aaron, um, Aaron used to be a guy, uh, a girl who turned into a guy. He went through the process and, and, and became a guy. And Aaron was the guy. This is her when she was six. And this is her now at the age of 19. When she met, when, when Kit met Aaron, she had already had her surgery. He, he, he had not had his surgery at the time. So um, she supported him through the process, and he, he went through his um, surgery. They're a young couple, transgender couple. And while doing my research, I also um, found some interesting facts and some interesting people online. I also found a young, um, young girl who at, the age, who, at the age of two, she told her parents that she thinks she was a boy and she feel like a boy. She wanted to do boy things. She wanted to wear boy clothes and she wanted to be a boy. She said she, she was not a girl. So at two, her parents started to dress her at five now. Her parents is dressing her and treating her like a boy. Um, if you, um, um, her name here is, um, if you're interested in the story and you're wanting to check this um, story out, you can go to the Washington Post and just put in a um, little girl at the age of five who turned transgender because she's young, so um, her name is not being used. And also, when I was doing my research, I found pretty cool and fun stuff out there about people that have transitioned in their story. Um, basically, I found this lady called Colin Self, and she was talking about transgender, how she feels as a transgender person. And she basically, she was, um, she was a, a, a male that became a female. She went through the process when, at the age of 16. And she said, every day, trans doesn't always have to be about sexuality, about sex. It's about who we are, who we define ourselves to be. She said, my sex is just one part of me. I'm a musician, I'm an artist. And being a transgender person is just another part of me. I don't look at transgender as just the sex. What people think about transgender, what do they think about? Oh, do you have a penis or do you not have a penis? Did you go through the surgery? She said, I don't think about that that way. And I have this lady, her name is Janet Mock. She's one of the um, huge advocates out there for transgender people. And she was, she's huge in the transgender community. She's doing a lot of work out there with people who have, who have transitioned. So um, if you care about the story, you can just look her up. Her name is Janet Mock. And also, um, if you have family members or friends who are going through the transition process and they're ashamed or they want to talk to someone about about the process you can just um there are a few um informations that i have for you you can go ahead and um and contact um uh, th there are some resources out there you can go ahead and go to transgenderpeoplespeak.org it's right there and you can also go to um um, www.transgender.so.com Those are resources out there that you could use if you're going through the transition process or you know someone who is going through the process and that, need, that needs help. 
And um, basically, when I was going through my, my when I was doing my research for my um presentation, I realized that transgender people, it's not all about the sex. It's not all about about who they are. They are individual as 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 a normal person. Um, they are who they feel they are. I don't think it's, 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 it's fair for people to judge them for the way they feel as a human being. I just feel like they're not trying to force their view down in other people's throat or trying to let other people agree with them. Basically, all they need is just for people to respect them as a normal human beings. Their sex is just one part of them and who they are. They're not trying to tell us to agree with them, but that's who they are. That's who they're expressing themselves to be. I don't think as individuals we should go out there and judging them and telling them who they can be or who they cannot be. So basically, they're just trying to be who they believe they are and I think basically they just need, need people to respect them in a point of view not um, passing judgment on them and telling them who you can be or who you cannot be and also when I was doing my research I also there's um, some transgender terms to evolve if you if you know a transgender person all you meet a transgender person one day these are terms that you can you you can you can avoid using um, some of the terms are she male, he male, a trainee, um, gender gender bender. Uh, never use these names because it's not appropriate. Transgender people do not like that. Don't use this name. And also, while doing my project, I realized um, I realized that um, according to research that I, I, I did. I mentioned like this, there are seven things that you can use against people that are um, homophobic or do not like transgender people because whatever reason they have. And um, the list of seven things on this website, if you're interested, you can go to, you can visit www.wikihow.com and it said um, when you approach someone who is homophobic, uh, look for a support group. Talk to other people in your network. Try to talk to your teachers, your friends. Just have that support group that will support you. And also, when you meet a person who is homophobic and try to ask you a funny question, or, oh, when did you get the surgery? Or, oh, do you have, have you done the surgery before? You can just kind of turn your joke around to them and say, oh, when did you realize you're a boy or you're a girl? Oh, um, can I see what it looks like down there? Those are some of the things that you can diffuse the fact that um, you can just, um, take that light off of you or try to make it a light situation. And um, there's another thing here also it says um, turn transphobic around. If a person um, is afraid of being around you or something like that, you'd be like, um, would you like that? I don't like being around you. Just try to um, diffuse the situation. And um, there's one important thing also from the movie Austin on Bond. I didn't do any piece on him, but there was a... Um, there was a workshop that that our professor um, invited us to go to called Austin on Bone. It was a deaf boy that was going through the transition process. He was born a female and he believed that he was a male. That's his baby picture. I couldn't um, print out the bigger picture of him. And that's one thing that he said that really stuck with me when I was doing my pro project. And I just want to quote what he said. He basically went on by saying a powerful quote. He was like... Um, I, I am not ashamed of who I am. I am. I am not ashamed of who I am because I know who I am. And I think that's a powerful statement we all should carry in life with us. We shouldn't be afraid of who we are. We should be, we should, we should stand up for who we are. We shouldn't be afraid of who we are. And I think in life, and when people believe in stuff, we have to, we have to believe in ourselves. And I just really love that statement. And I picked this, I could just go a little bit into my um, RA statement, why I picked this, um, why I picked to choose to talk about transgender people. I feel like the world should be a safer place for everybody. If I'm safe out there, if I have laws out there for me, if I'm protected, why not other people? You know, we shouldn't judge people because of who they are, who they feel, feel they are, you know. We should just accept people for who they are. So, if you need help, there's a lot of help out there. If you know someone who needs help, there's a lot of resources out there. Just just go on to transpeoplespeak.com, go search, search our support group, and just talk to someone. Thank you guys for listening to me, and this is my presentation. This is my PowerPoint, my presentation. And I'm Denise.